This radio was made on Thursday, September 29th, 1966, in the former GDR, within sight of the inner German border wall, Die Mauer, two years after its introduction in 1964, and in the same year Gerhard Kubeczek, the founder of the Kuba Imperial Factory and importer of this radio into Canada, had sold his company to General Electric for 80 million Deutsche Mark. The history is deeply embedded in the turmoils of World War II in Germany, the Soviet occupation of East Germany, and the permanent post-war aspiration of the former Ostzone, German Democratic Republic, to international recognition. It is a product of the Zentrale Planwirtschaft, centrally planned economy of the 1960s GDR, although an excellent and atypical one. Stern Radio in Sonneberg eventually became GDR's biggest radio producer and built, for example, in 1959 the first GDR transistor radio Sternchen, Little Star. The company, after reunification, went into receivership and was liquidated in 1991. Export had been mainly to Eastern Bloc countries, but also to the BRD, German Federal Republic. Export into countries with different radio systems, like this radio, were extremely rare. The Canadian importer was Cuba Imperial Toronto. Cuba is worldwide known as the maker of the 1959 Cuba Comet, the most extravagant home entertainment console ever built. Today one sold for $10,000 in England. My radio is one of the last tube radios and a rare GDR export article targeting international interest which is obvious from the differences between the domestic and the export versions. It is extremely well built and in mint, serviced and working condition. The radio plays fine on all its four bands. Let's listen. Uh, crews are on scene dealing with that, so stay away from Highway 1 at the Ironworkers Bridge. This contains a reference to many studies that warn about the impact of marijuana on the teenage developing brain. When I go to other... Right now, you're $7,000 richer. Pretty sweet win. Update. How's it going, Sherry? It's going very well, Jim. Thank you.